my name is Mohammed and today I'm going to solve one of the question as uh, you can see on the board now uh, we need to find the missing angles but before I'm going to start to solve this question if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe now because I'm doing the more 11 plus more information more updates uh, about 11 plus and this question based on angles in parallel lines okay so as my previous video about angles in parallel lines there are three types of angles in parallel lines uh, first you need to understand this one because this question based on angles in parallel lines so this is the first type of yeah parallel line okay so if i say this one and this one so this is called corresponding corresponding angles which must be equal each other so if i say this is 120 so this one must be 120 and they are making the shape of f so corresponding angle making the shape of f and now move for the second type of angles in parallel line okay so this is the parallel line okay and if i say this angle and this angle which is called alternate angles okay so the alternate angles must be equal each other if I say that this is what 65 okay so this must be 65 as well and they are making the shape of Z and they must be equal each other and the last types of angles in parallel line which is like this one and this one so it means they are making the shape of alphabet which is called C okay so if this one is 70 so this one must be 110 because this is called a light or co interior angle must be equal to 180 degree so these two angles sum of 180 degree which is called a light angle so this is 70 and this must be 110 so these are the three types of angles in parallel line which we already discussed in our previous video and on the basis of these concept we can solve this question so don't be confused about uh, I'm using the red marker okay just to overwrite for the each line so one by one we're going to go through so this is look at this one uh, this is parallel line okay so first I'm going to solve this one this is parallel line okay these two I'm discussing first okay and so the first things what i'm doing okay so i am solving this line okay so these are the two parallel line okay forget about the whole picture okay so so you just follow the red marker okay where i'm overwriting so these are the two parallel lines okay so this line is just crossing two parallel line okay so look at this one this angle a and this angle c okay so so angle a and c looks like what look at this one this angle a and c they are making the shape of z okay this and this one so it means the property of alternate angle okay this is alternate 
angles okay so the property for alternate angles okay so these angles must be equal to each other so h means a must be equal to b so i can write down what so a equal to must be c so now this is we figure out about that so alternate angles a and c and now i'm going to work out okay in the same way i'm just overwriting the same parallel line this one okay and this time ignore about this line okay which i already discussed about alternate angle so i'm going to just draw this one look at this one okay and this one is 108 and if i make here angle which is look like the shape of the first angle which is corresponding angle so they are making the shape of shape of f look this one this one so if you go back the first corresponding angle they are making a shape of f so if the one angle 120 so must be the second angle also 120 so it means this is 108 so this one must be 108 now this is opposite d is the opposite of 108 so this one is also 108 and now if I extend 108 to this line which is a straight line okay so a straight line making an angle which is equal to 180 degree so 180 180 minus 108 which is equal to 72 so it means this angle will be 72 and now you can see you can see this is a triangle okay the sum of triangle which is equal to 180 as well so if I add these two angle which is 78 78 plus 72 which is equal to 150 and 180 minus 150 which is equal to 30 so it means the C will be 30 degree so as per as per alternate angle they are making a shape of Z yeah so as I said A equal to C so it means if A is 30 so C must be 30 as well so it means so angle A is 30 angle C is 30 angle D we work out by corresponding angle 108 okay so the opposite of this angle is d which is 108 and now we just work out these two parallel line along with crossing this line and this line okay now we are going to extend okay the third parallel lines okay so i'm using the red marker again yeah look at this one okay so now i'm discussing about these two parallel lines okay and look at this one okay this one extend to here and if you go back okay look at this one and now this one is also crossing here 
and if I say that go to corresponding angle and look at this look at this one okay I'm using the green one okay so look at this one this one and this one okay and and this one so what the shape they are making okay so they are making a shape of like that okay so this is and this is now these are the corresponding angle they must be equal each other so it means this is 117 so this one also must be 117 so we found the E as well okay now is we can see that we need to find the angle B how we can work about the angle B so it's very easy same as you work out the missing angle okay on the basis of this triangle same as this is also making a triangle okay and very simple if I extend this one look at this one if I extend here 117 to this parallel line okay so it means this angle will be 63 180 minus 63 180 minus 117 to get the 63 exactly the same thing I'm doing here okay 108 8 180 minus 108 which is equal to 72 so 72 plus 63 which becomes 72 plus 63 which is equal to 135 so if I take away 135 from 180 to get the answer 45 so angle A angle A equal to 30 angle B is 45 angle C is angle C is 30 angle D is 108 and angle E is 117 so these are very simple don't be confused okay you need to solve okay step by step so you need if there are two three four parallel lines so just solve try to solve two parallel lines okay so just take one pair of par parallel line solve on the basis of these concepts which are corresponding angles alternate angle and allied or co interior angles and just extend the line okay they are making two triangles okay when you extend okay so you will get two triangles and some of the triangle 180 and subtract by the both angle from 190 to get the missing angle for the both triangle which is 45 degree and 30 degree so that's it for today if you like this video please you leave your comments and if you have any query about any question don't hesitate to contact me by leaving feedback so see you in the next video bye bye